Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to take a first quick look at the Zozo uh, Championship PJ event for this Thursday um, from the DFS perspective. And it's uh, an interesting slate because there are only, looks like 78 or so golfers, which means uh, that there's going to be no cut. And in no cut events, usually uh, line of construction takes, uh, you know, takes on a certain character. Usually what it means is that uh, stars and scrubs types type builds um, uh, is, is, is usually where optimals lead you. And, and the reason for that um, is that if you take, if you have a, if you have a cheapo, you don't have to worry about them only playing two rounds, you know? So, so we're, we're normally, if you want to access the top golfers, you need to play a cheapo and run the risk of that cheapo literally, you know, scoring 50% of everybody else. Now you don't have to worry about that. And, and you could kind of play these cheapos with a little more impunity that even if they don't do that well, they're still going to get, you know, 90% pretty much of what the other cheapos that make the cut uh, uh, score. So um, that's why. Uh, stars and scrubs uh, lineups tend to be what optimals lead you to. Now that doesn't mean that that's what you should play, right? Because if everybody is going to be, or an overwhelming, you know, majority of the lineups can be built that way. You can get natural different natural differentiation by playing other ways. And herein lies the the you know DFS theorem one hundred one, right? <laughs> theorem one. So how? much different or how much worse than the optimal lineups do you want to get um, in the name of being different, in the name of being unique, in the name of getting leverage. And if you knew the answer to that, then you will solve VFS. And that's the constant, constant battle with, with making these lineups. So yes, it's easy to say, oh, everybody's going to go stars and scrubs, just go middling. Yeah, okay. But there's a reason why an overwhelming number of lineups are going to be stars and scrubs is because mathematically they're more likely to win. How much more likely? Well, once again, you don't know that for sure. Now, in the last couple of months, the, the industry has rolled out all these contest simulation tools, which hopefully, well, they're hoping, kind of gets to the bottom of some of these questions. Um, and I myself am you know, kind of playing around with these things to see if you know I can improve my line of construction based on you know, the, the, these new... I don't know, these new tools. That's the best way I can describe this. And remember what contest simulations are designed to do is, okay, not only build lineups, but then to tailor those lineups specifically to the contest you're playing. And when, when I say that, I mean to presume that the contest field is going to play a certain way. And with that knowledge or with that assumption, how you should then adjust your lineups to feed off of that. That's really what contest simulation is in, a, in, a, in the simplest way possible. So again, it's garbage in, garbage out. If you can't make good assumptions of what the field is going to do, then, then you're lost. So you, you are going to need good ownership pro projections to run through these contest simulations. Now, the good news is that of all of the sports, golf is, is one of the most predictable from a perspective of ownership of all of them. I don't know exactly why that is, but again, trust me, I, I do do the work on all the sports and the difference between actual ownership and projected ownership when you aggregate the industry in a, in a, in a reasonable way uh, is really not that big. So I guess what, what that means is that the contest simulation technology and the contest simulation tools are gonna be, I would imagine, particularly strong for a sport like this, because again, the, what that's the major hurdle to overcome is to figure out what, you know, what to compare your lineups to. And, and if the ownership projections are strong, then you've overcome that hurdle. At least you tried to overcome that hurdle. Okay, so let's, let's mess around and let's see what we can come up with. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to uh, upload our projections. Now, the one thing I will say is at this early stage, it's only Tuesday, the ownership projections are actually pretty poor. 
um, just be, they're they're just extremely low and they're low across the board. Uh, they don't even add up to six hundred, and I'll get I can't even get to why that is, but that's just what we're dealing with here, and that is going to affect the simulations somewhat. But uh, we're just going to roll with it for now. Um, the other thing, again, you have to keep in mind if you're going to use Sabersim, is that when they run the CONSA simulation and they compare your lineups to a pool of lineups, it is not using um, our ownerships. In other words, it's not using the custom ownerships to make that determination. What it's using, well, unless you tell it to, what it's using is typically the Sabersim ownership. So you take an example like um, Hideki Matsuyama, where Sabersim has him at 31, but I have him at 15. I'm not even... I mean, Sabres is probably right because, again, all of mine are really low right now. Um, but if that's the case, then it's going to affect the simulation. So you have to decide whether you're going to want to default to the Sabres sim ownerships or our own. And, and you can't really default to your own. What you can do is assign it a bill to compare it to. Like, for example, let's, let's put our contest simulation, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, assumptions and let's call it the sand trap right i think that's what's going to be the uh the mme thing let's just say how many people are going to be playing it this this, this week you know what? let's 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 find out so that this way when we actually build these for real tomorrow we'll know what we'll already have that entered so golf um zozo championship so it looks like only fourteen thousand one hundred. This starts Wednesday. Oh, I am very glad that I noticed this. I do like them apples. Oh, okay. So we're, we are going to enter these today. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, wow. All right. So there's going to be 14,100. So let's put these in. 14,100. Matter of fact, we'll do this live right here on the spot. 25% for first is, uh, well, it's going to be, what's this? 33% uh, go to first place. And we'll save there. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to play the par four. We're not, I don't know if I'm going to play the mega this week. Let's play the par four. And in that one, we're going to have 222 people. And how much are first? 50,000? How do we know? Oh, 50,000 50, for first. How is it? 50, oh, 50,000 prize for first. It doesn't say how much for first. It's so funny. This one is, looks like. It doesn't say what first is. I presume it's maybe 10,000. Yeah, 10,000. Usually it says what first is. Anyway, so it's 10,000 for first based on 50,000. So 20%, 222. 222, 20%. So we'll save the settings here. And let's 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 put these in before I forget. Wow, this is nuts. So we will make dummy lineups. Start off with this, and then we'll go two fifty. And then what we will do is a we'll bulk enter into the lottery because I love playing that. Um, we'll do this. I guess we'll play a couple of single entries. This, this mega this mega snowman is like starting to be an, an annoyance to me though. So I'm not, not just haven't really casted that thing in a while. So we're gonna we're gonna pass on that one this week. But we'll play the uh, the driver. Driver and pay for first. Two hundred. Wanna play the King of the Desert qualifier? Let's try that one. How about that? So let's play these guys. 
You'll play a couple of single entries. All right. And so for these tournaments, you have 277 people, 111. Let's play, we'll make these the same for all of them. And 100. Actually, let's, we might as well do them right. So 277 in the driver. So let's put that in. Add contest in driver. 277. And then 10K for first. So that's 20% first. And then we'll add, what's this other one that we did? Uh, the 20K driver, 111 people. Let's call it 20, 20K driver. And 200 people, what did I say, 200 people? No, 111 people, 20%. 20%. And then the other one we did is the, the qualifier, right? So King of the Desert, 150, and it pays, I think, like all of it, right? One contest seat. It's like 95%, right? Let's take a look at this in here. Yeah, so this only pays, pays very little people. And it's... It'd be nice to say what the what the... Ticket is worth. Oh, it says three thousand. I think it's three thousand. Got to be more than that. Anyway, we'll figure that out. One hundred and one people. We'll call it quality qualifier. Hundred people, and this was ninety percent to first. So save settings. Okay, so now we're comparing them to Saber Sim ownerships, and I think that's actually a good idea for this one because again, my ownerships are kind of too low, so that's fine. Okay, um, as a matter of fact, maybe we should just use. No, that's fine. We'll, we'll leave it like this for now. Okay, so we've updated my projection. We've updated we've, we've uh, ownership. We've updated our start time, which is good. So let's build 150 lineups and let's go. I could pause this if I feel like it. See how long it's taking. Yeah, we have to pause this. And I'll pick this up when this is done. It shouldn't be that long. Though. All right, it didn't take too long. Um, first thing that I'll notice is that you know, a whole bunch of KH Lee at 6,900, uh, and that makes a lot of sense considering that I did mention that we'd be a good amount of stars and scrubs. And then you see a whole bunch of Fowler and, and Xander Shufflin. So let's um, do a couple of things. First, we're going to run the contest sims. And again, we're comparing it not against our own ownerships, but against Saber sims, which again, because mine are too low right now, I think that makes sense. And then the other thing we're going to do is we are going to change the um, the uh, oops. we're going to change the uh, the uniques to min two once this is done. So let's change this to min two, and now let's uh, sort this by sand trap risk adjusted ROI. Now, if we do that, it's a lot different, right? Than all that KH Lee, and that is actually pretty good. So this is a this is a this is a good smooth little build here. Um, so I'm probably going to go with this, but it's weird because it's not as much stars and scrubs as I thought. So I think what I think what the Sims are doing is exactly what I said. You know, just trying to get a little bit different from the field. Um, and that would be kind of neat if that's exactly what it was doing. I'm just actually not sure. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with this. This is uh this could be really different, I, I think, if you don't play the stars and scrubs approach in these. I'm actually kind of pumped about this. So let's let's save these for now. We'll put these in the 
sand trap. Very nice. And next thing I want to do is I want to go to the uh, uh, R4 as well. R4. We only need one. So we'll do that. And this is a little more stars and scrubs. This one gets me Xander, which uh, is fine. And then I'm very interested to see what becomes of this one, the, uh, the qualifier. Not much different, actually. So we'll save that to the qualifier, King of the Desert. And then for the, the two single entries, we're going to do like two different ones. So let's let's go to, we're going to go two lineups, and then we're going to go to the driver. We're going to do this, and we'll play these two in the driver and this drive. We'll play unique rank. Okay, then we will save these. And then we will fly. So again, this is, I think this was really helpful to understand, I think, what this contest sensor are trying to accomplish here. I like it if if if, if I'm right about this. If I, it's actually doing builds that are contrarian builds, that's that's a big deal. I don't I don't I can't say for sure what's in the algorithm, but um, I, I'm definitely into my portfolio. I will just say that. Now, again, I didn't really get into like the plays or whatever, but um, if I look at it by projections, I'll just, I mean, I just want to build a one lineup to show you what we're supposed to play, I guess. Let's see. Rated by Sheets Value Score, I guess. Look, so Cage, Lee, Adam, Shank. You know, you could probably just pick the top six <laughs> or close to it and build a lineup like that if you wanted. Can you do that? Let's see. Pretty close. No, not quite, thank God. Um, okay, I guess that's going to do it. Uh, again, I'm just trying to get used to using these tools and, and seeing what I can learn from it. I think that we, we made some headway there. If you want, again, full breakdown of the golfers, that's just not what I do. I just build lineups based on the models that I have. Um, um, you can go to rickrungood.com. He does a good breakdown of the actual golfers and things like that. But I'm just kind of less interested in that, more interested in kind of how to, how to use the information to win. Okay, that will do it. Uh, good luck, everybody.